For the past few months, it was happening that I was posting continuously on Instagram, YouTube, Reels and Shorts. As I am a person who is doing a job from 9 to 5, which was not till 5 but extend to 7 or 8. And in job, it's not that you are working, you have to talk to other folks, stay on track with the timelines, deliver the things on time, learn and apply, which was kind of hectic. After that, I had to work on my passion. I was preparing my content and post. I was working up to 3 a.m. Scenes. It's a story of long sleepless nights, crying and falling and crying alone. Everybody wants to be rich and successful, but do you know what's the cost of this? Planning the content, thinking about ideas and editing online and waking up again in the morning doing the same thing that I really don't love. But nothing was working out. I thought okay, my contents are good and will help people to improve their life. When I watched other people who had none of their real content, all they were doing was having a trending background song lipsing on those songs and doing some movement and people were loving it. I got disheartened. I mean, I, I mean, I can't do this. It just does not suit my personality and the kind of the person I am. I can't lose myself for the sake of likes and comments. And also I can't improve somebody else's life if they don't want to. I was understanding the Instagram algorithm. It wants the kind of content that keeps the consumers engaged in using their application and keeps releasing dopamine. And the creators who are meeting their needs were highlighting them. I realized this and I didn't want to spend my time planning to ruin somebody else's life. I mean if my content does not add value to my audience's life, I have not done my job well. It was hard for me to remove Instagram because of FOMO and all the dopamine from spending hours and hours carelessly was making things difficult. But at the same time, it was making me feel bad about myself. I felt as if not to be in a rat race, I'm again caught up in another rat race. I'm trapped. I want to do a lot of things, but I'm not doing anything. The rat race of numbers. I was trying to become somebody else losing my own identity and uniqueness. And this was the last time. I had to make that hard decision for myself and my future. So you can think about what I did. Yes. I removed Instagram. I uninstalled the application. One thing that was ruining my life was removed. Now I was not watching those shitty contents nor was comparing my content with others. I was saying much of my time to focus on my goals and how I can make my life much better. Because of this 24 hour bad work, I was burned out and was not able to spend time with my family. I came back to my family to spend some time with them. As I always wanted to be a full time YouTuber and a filmmaker, I removed my idea of becoming an influencer on Instagram. I am very much worried about my fitness and does not compromise it with at any cost. I started working out and I was at my home so I did not have much thing to do like preparing foods, by grocery etc. I started reading self help books as I was very much consistent on YouTube and does not have many friends. YouTube and the camera were the only two friends I had. I could not stop doing it. I was creating videos every day and getting all your comments and queries. I was trying to help you out. Again the same thing started happening. I woke up till late at night to help you all research, filter, plan, set up, shoot and edit. This too burned me out. Also, I did not have any sign of whether it is really helping you or not. Realizing I was lost and messed up, I am not really doing what I actually wanted to do. Just like other people, I also needed appreciation which I was not getting. And also, I was not improving in my field. I was confused and anxious and it was draining all my energy within me. I was not able to sleep. I was not living the present moment. Every now and then, I write my goals and try to figure out what should I do to achieve my goal. In the context of that searching for my goals and what I want to do in my life, I again got into the trap of swiping to the screens on YouTube thinking that maybe this video will help me to know my answers. But nothing worked and I really got shocked when I saw my screen time. Because of all these things, I was really meshed. It is starting affecting my job and my mental health. Realizing that if it keeps continuing for some more time, I will not be able to grow and would never be able to achieve my goals. For making the thing simple, I choose to start with my first dream of becoming a YouTuber and a filmmaker. As I have not done any courses or prior experience in filmmaking and I am not a professional filmmaker, I made a simple decision of what I choose to do. I would do the thing that I really love to do and enjoy doing it 
doing the things that would really help me to grow in my life. I can't see others and what they are doing and what make them successful. I can't be them and they can't be me. My life journey and success journey will be totally different from them. Hence I started learning about the filmmaking and I'm working on my goals. The key to all this telling you is that we are lost so much in outside voices that we have stopped listening to our inner voice. We have forgotten the art of slowing down. There's a book by Krish Barris Brown that says about slowing down when we are busy, we feel as though we are achieving something and we feel as though we are important. The truth is very different. If you are too busy and too hectic, you lose your impact and your shine. To truly shine, you need to slow down and take a deep breath.